Hello everybody, this is Countersearch here, and welcome to my first ever video on how to play Puyo Puyo Tetris. The basics. So, uh, before I start, I just want to say that uh, this video was a request from a friend of mine who says that he really wants to get better at uh, Puyo Puyo, and he just kind of doesn't know, you know, where to start kind of deal, and I want to help him out by making this video. But at the same time, I'm making it for anyone out there that's interested in uh, learning how to uh, play Puyo Puyo. So in this video, I plan on showing you the very basics of the game, and then we're going to get into the basics of chaining. And uh, from there... We'll see if you guys want to see more videos like this, or if I get another request to make a second part, third, fourth, or fifth, or whatever. I, I can do that. I've been playing Puyo for a little bit. I started off back on uh, um, Sega Genesis, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I don't know if any of y'all know about that game, but that's where I got started. And from there, I've just been playing games and the likes of uh, Puyo Puyo Sun and... Uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris, that's the big one I'm doing right now. So, yeah. From there, let's go ahead and get started. So, Puyo Puyo. If you don't know, it's a game where you have to match up four more of these colors right here. These are your Puyos. You know, red, green, blue, yellow, purple kind of deal. And in a in a one on one, which is more likely the case when you'll be playing Puyo Puyo, you'll be facing off against an opponent, and this is what your screen's gonna kind of look like. Right now, I'm on uh, Chain Simulator Puyo Nexus. Really nice. Anyways, I'll get into that in a little bit. So yeah, basically, pop four more of these guys. Doesn't have to be that much, but check this out. This sends garbage. Um, and that is these guys right here. Basically, when you send garbage to your opponent's side, it fills up their screen. And the loser of the battle is determined by who tops out with uh, too much of it. Because if you get too many of these guys, like on the way up kind of here, um, that's pretty much game over for you, which you don't want to happen. And it doesn't even have to be these regular ones either, just any kinds. If you top out by not clearing your screen of Puyos, then that's game over for you. And that's the objective, kind of, for you to do to your opponent. Phew, I wish I was better at explaining things. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. But, in any case, so, in order to prevent this, you need to be popping Puyos. What this does is, let's say I got these blue Puyos right here, and let's put some garbage right here. Um, if I pop, like when these things pop, what it does is two things. One, I'll add some more for safe measure to show my case. But one, it'll clear your screen of garbage, and then just you'll have more space to work with kind of deal, so that you won't top out. And two, it in itself sends garbage your opponent. So that's why um, popping Puyos is very important. Now, chaining is even more so important in uh, Puyo Puyo because it's like the domino effect kind of deal. When you pop one set of Puyos, it starts a chain reaction, that's the name, and you start popping other sets of Puyos. You're probably wondering, how does that happen? Well, I can show you real quick. So let's say that I've got, uh, or let's clear my screen real quick, and uh, I've got these uh, red Puyos right here, just three of them. Uh, since I only have three, uh, they don't pop, right? And then let's say on top of them, I also have this set of green Puyos, and on the very top, I've got a red one, and then I got a green Puyo dropping from my screen. So, 
basic the basic idea of what's going to happen is when this falls onto the greens, they will pop, and then the red will fall into the reds, thus making two chain. There you go. And see, it actually sends uh, quite the number of garbage. The more you chain, the more garbage you'll send, which is really advantageous for you. So, with that being said, you want to know how to start chaining? Let me tell you. What you, um, this kind of method, I don't know what the official name for it is, but when I play, I call this kind of method blocking. Basically, what kind of happens is um, whenever you're playing Puyo Puyo, especially in the modern iterations, of the five colors, you will only get uh, four. And of course, it's based on RNG as well. So let's say that you get the uh, three reds right here. And then uh, we're going to block it off by putting a green right here. So now you could say, oh, I could just pop it right here or right here, but that's not what we want to do. We're trying to make a chain. So what we're actually going to do is put the red right here. And then we want to finish our greens. So we're going to connect two more. And then for the next one, we're going to get blues, put them here, and then a green on top and then lastly we'll put one blue right here three yellows blue on top and then a yellow to start our chain this is kind of the idea of blocking so i'll explain it a little bit but when we start the chain we can see that they pop and that pops and that pops and that pops Bam, four chain, pretty cool. So there's one uh, important factor that you have to know when you're blocking like this. You have to know what your trigger is. And when I say trigger, I mean like the set. Your trigger is the set of Puyos that will initiate your chain. You got to know where your trigger is. So let's say I'm building these greens. I get some reds, and then I get a, a green on top right here. The reds become the trigger. So I got through my reds now, and then the blue, and then the red is on top of the blue. The blue is now our trigger. You just have to remember this because it, I know it seems like, oh, well, there's only one blue Puyo right there. That can't be my trigger because I can't start off the chain. Well, that's because you just got to put more. When you add more, oops, I accidentally got rid of the red. When you add more, you can see how the chain starts to flesh out. So just by putting that one blue Puyo in between the reds makes it your trigger. Because when you finally connect it, it sets off the chain. So doing something like that is a is a good way to get started on uh puyo puyo so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to walk you through this method oops y'all didn't need to see that <laughs> by opening up puyo puyo tetris myself and i'm going to go into challenge mode and show you guys um my thought process step by step when doing the blocking method. Because you see, whenever you're blocking, the Puyo, it, um, Puyo Puyo is, you know, kind of based on, um, RNG. So you're never always going to get the pieces that you want. So you got to know. Kind of how you want to extend your chain or how you want to tail it from behind and those are concepts that i can get into in another video but for now since you are learning the since i'm assuming you're here to learn the very basics we're going to focus on one chain so if we get other puyos 
they essentially just kind of become garbage that will pop later or put to the side for now. So... Let's do this. Yep, let's do this. I'll show you guys step by step my thought process right here. Alright, so it looks like I see that we're starting off with two reds. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to uh, connect those. Got green right here, so I'll go ahead and put it like this. Connecting those greens, and then I see the blue and orange, so I put those together. And then... Bam, there we go. And then look, got our first trigger. The green was our trigger right there. So when I pop that, that's that 2 chain. Alright, so I'm gonna put this here. And I'm gonna make the red our trigger by putting the blue on top of the reds. Then, I'm gonna make the green our trigger by putting the green in front of the red so that it can't be there. Now, the orange is our trigger and I'm gonna get an all clear, watch this. See? That's pretty much, uh, how you do it right there. Just by creating new triggers on top of your stuff. See, the red's my trigger because I got it, um, in between my blues right here. Now, I know there's an orange on top of my red, but that doesn't make it my trigger right now because, um, it's not... When I pop it, it can't go down to the red because there's no red on top. But now there is. So now, I have made the green my trigger by putting the... Or did I say orange? I meant to say yellow. Sorry, I they look orange to me sometimes. Anyways. So, I'm waiting for my um, green piece because the green's now my trigger. So I'm just going to put these to the side. And funny enough, since I've already waited this long, I went ahead and made these yellows over here my other trigger. So, we're going to set it off and let's see what happens. Five chain. So, not half bad, right? Just, you know, stack on top. Gonna go ahead and pop these reds really quick. We're gonna put this to the side because we're waiting on blues. I made the orange my trigger right here. Blues on top of that. We're gonna put this to the side because I can't really use it. And this to the side as well. And then three chain right here. See? That's uh. That's kind of what there is to it right there. So, using that method, I'm going to go back to the main menu, solo arcade, and we're going to fight somebody in a uh, Puyo using that method. It's not the most efficient method Let's in the world, this. like I said, because you're putting Puyos on the sides that you don't want it, that you can't use for your chain, but it, it's always helpful to look at what Puyos you're getting ahead. If you see you're getting an, an excess of one color up ahead, try to use that for your chain because when you do that, um, like if you make those Puyos your trigger, My time is shine. Um, it helps out because then you're not waiting as on as many uh, Puyos. So, I'll, I'm gonna go fast because this guy's gonna go fast. And I'm just gonna kind of get me to do that. Walk you guys through my uh, thought process right here. Okay. Waiting on oranges. I don't have oranges to uh, initiate this. All right, now I do. Now I'm waiting on purples because the purple is actually my uh, trigger. I'm accidentally gonna pop these blues, which is unfortunate. So I gotta recreate it. Now I'm waiting on oranges again, which is not good. He's probably gonna get something up on me. I'm putting these things to the side because I can't use them. And uh, I'm gonna pop this really quick. And now I'm gonna start my chain, which is right here. There we go. And now my blues are the trigger for this next chain right here. And it's okay, because he's down. So huh? Alright, so 
Look, I got a large amount of greens right here, so I'll go ahead and make that my base. The bottom. And the orange is now our trigger. But now, the red is actually our trigger. Purple's not our trigger, I just put that purple there because it's gonna pop simultaneous to the uh, red, or to the... Yeah, it's gonna pop simultaneous to the greens in a second, is what I meant to say. Alright, so, that's cool. I'm gonna put this green right here because I want a simultaneous pop again. When I, when I mean simultaneous, I mean like, you know, they pop at the same time. So, uh, oh, it's not ready, it's not ready. It's not ready because I didn't have my purple here. I kind of blocked myself off just now, which is a bad idea. But, um, I think we'll be okay. If we just... Let's get rid of these reds right here on the side. And, uh... Well, this is a terrible idea. Alright, I've destroyed my chain because I accidentally popped the Puyas that I needed. And he's sending garbage to me, which is not good. So, I'm gonna see if I can... Oops, that was a bad idea. I need reds. I need reds. So I'm gonna put these purples here. I'm actually gonna put them top. And let's fire off a quick 3 chain. Or no, it didn't pop. Alright, that's fine. 2 chain real quick. Alright, so we're in the clear. We don't want to top out. Because this guy, he's trying to dig his way through. So we're going to send another 2 chain real quick. Put this here. And another 2 chain coming his way. There. Our screen is pretty clear. Which is amazing. And we win. So yeah. Like I said, um, not the most efficient method. Because as you can see... Uh, well, you could say that it was my fault, but I got stuck because I was waiting on a color and I was just like putting things to the side and, and it wasn't the best, but uh, obviously I could have done something else to change that. Um, probably my block blocking placement, like where I put the blocks and like what colors I use, but things to uh, remember from this episode that in order to make chains, you gotta build on top of a trigger. And your trigger is decided by what set of Puyos you have in between or in the way of your next set of Puyos that will pop. So just remember to make your triggers and make them as efficiently as possible. Remember to like choose your colors wisely and just look at which ones you got coming next. So great. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And again, like I said, leave a comment if you want to see um, more how to Puyo Puyo stuff because I can also teach y'all strategies and techniques that will help you to make bigger chains by getting things more orderly instead of just saying, alright, well, let's just put a bunch of Puyos together and see what happens. I can show you formations so that you know what to do with the Puyos you're getting. In any case, thank you all for watching, and until the next video of whatever that will be, <laughs> I'll see y'all.